Welcome back. It is a dog's life from the White House to Hollywood. Historian, author, and dog lover Kate Kelly is here to take us inside the lives of uh, America's favorite pooches and their celebrity owners. Kate, welcome. Yeah. Thank you very much. I guess when it comes to dogs, they really bridge a lot of gaps, don't they? Cultural and political, they sort of draw well, us all in. That's what I discovered. I, my website is dedicated to telling short stories of American history, and when I came to telling dog stories, the stories were very poignant because they made a point that you wouldn't necessarily learn unless you heard about the first seeing eye dog in 1928 and things like that. And it just brings things into perspective in a way that we don't have without that kind of personal story. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, celebrities, the movie that was such a big hit this past year, The Artist, the dog Uggy. Exactly. America fell in love with him and it was a French film, but everyone around the world just fell in love with this dog and it's something so universal. It is, and Uggy is a long line of Hollywood dogs that have been such a success. Gene was the first dog to star in silent films, but they go back that far. Mm -hmm. Rin Tin Tin was in a number wow. of films. And then right now, Benji is being recast. Oh. And if you go on Facebook to Benji the movie, you can submit your own dog oh. as a possible candidate for <laughs> the next Benji. So it's like an ongoing process. Everyone has their favorites. Yes, but, absolutely. But um, a lot of people talk about, of course, the president's dog, yes. Bo. Yes. He made a big deal, of course, about getting yes. the dog. In, and so we know a lot about Bo's stories. Hypoallergenic. <laughs> exactly. Yes. And he really humanizes the White House. The photographs of, of him with the girls or him with Obama it, are just wonderful, wonderful photographs. And, and I think through the years, the people who have really loved their dogs in, and been in the presidency have used them to good advantage in that way. We've, we've gotten to know the dogs as well as the president's family. Mm -hmm. And of course, before President Obama, was it Barney? Was that President Bush's Scottish <laughs> yes. Terrier? With the, the Barney cam yeah, every Christmas would cam. view, and that was really oh, fun. Right. <laughs> and even dating back to FDR. Right. Yes, and FDR and Fala were actually mm -hmm. a very important part of the story because they used him as a symbol for what Fala would give up during World War II because that was a mm -hmm. time of a lot of sacrifice oh. on the part of American citizens. And so it was pointed out out that Fala was giving up his rubber toys because Americans were being expected to sacrifice rubber and nylon and sugar oh. and coffee. So it was making that point. But the other little known fact about World War II was the fact that we had no canine corps at the time and Europe had been using canine corps. So a, a woman, an American, came up with the idea of having pet people donate their pets to the canine corps and they had 40,000 pets donated to be in the military, 10 of them, 10,000 of them qualified to be sentry dogs, messenger wow. dogs, you know, fighting wow. dogs. But it was one of those things like to think about today and giving up giving your pet up. to go into the military. The sacrifice. It, it, it explains the level of sacrifice. Yeah, yeah that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, I didn't know that there was a dog that was linked to the U.S. Postal Service yes. or the post yeah. office as well. Yes, Oni, the post office dog. <laughs> and there's a stuffed version of him down in Washington. In, it, because he was so fondly remembered. It was in the 1880s. He moved into the Albany Post Office as a kind of bedraggled refugee from cold weather, and the post office started taking care of him. Well, it was in the days when a wagon would go back and forth to the train with the post, with, with the mail, and Oni started following the wagon back and forth. Next thing you know, he hopped onto the, oh. the train and would go off for a train ride, and he would eventually come back to, to um, Albany. So it was one of those things that he they ended up pinning him with the different places he had been and he was quite the ambassador for the post office. And of course we forgot to mention when we were talking about presidents Rex Reagan. Of course another yes. famous presidential pooch. Yes and a, a California I mean the Reagans adored yeah. their dogs. Had many many different dogs at the Reagan ranch but Rex was the one who joined them. A, a, a King Charles Spaniel mm -hmm. who lived with them at the White House. So very happily. <laughs> well, love talking to you about the dogs, yeah. and uh, I know that there is a way for folks to read about them on your website. For more information on Kate Kelly and more famous dogs, just head to our website, kcal9.com. Click on Scene on TV.